Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at 2018 Ordinary Level Maths Paper 1 and this is question 2. So this is a complex number question. We are told that we have two complex numbers, Z1 and Z2, and Z3 which is um, a result of some calculations between the previous two numbers. Let's find out what Z3 is because we need to plot both Z1, Z2 and Z3 on the argon diagram to the right. So Z3 is Z1 minus Z2 substitute the values in to get minus 2 plus 3i minus minus 3 minus 2i get rid of the bracket minus 2 plus 3i minus minus is a plus minus minus is a plus to get 1 plus 5i so now i can plot the three numbers using the red pen z1 is minus 2 plus 3i minus 2 along the real and um, plus 3 along the imaginary axis, so that's Z1. Um, Z2 is minus 2 minus 2, so minus 2 along the real axis, minus 2 along the imaginary, um, so that will be my Z2, sorry, minus 3 rather, obviously it has to be one further, minus 3, so that's Z2, and finally Z3 is uh, plus 1 among, uh, along the real axis and plus 5 along the imaginary. So we're going to put it right here and label it clearly Z3. Okay, all well and good. So next thing we need to investigate if modulus Z3 is the same as modulus Z1 plus Z2. Uh, for, <coughs> sorry, for partial credit, uh, I'm going to write down that modulus. Um, if I have number A plus BI, Modulus of that number, um, z, let's say, modulus of z is square root of a squared plus b squared. So for z3, um, modulus of z3 is going to be equal to square root of 1 squared plus 5 squared equals to root 26. Um, for z1, Modulus is going to be equal to root. Uh, let's take a look at what Z1 is again. Z1 is minus 2 plus 3i. <coughs> so minus 2 squared plus um, 3 squared. So that gives me root of 4 plus 9, which is root 13. And for Z2, <coughs> Z2 equals to minus 3 minus 2i. So root uh, minus 3 squared plus minus 2 squared and again it's root um, 4 plus 9 which is root 13 and it's clear that root 26 is not the same as root 13 plus root 13 and that's the answer to this question um, in the next question we are asked to carry out a, a division of two complex numbers so let's do that z4 equals to z1 divided by z2 so z4 equals to for z1 i'm going to substitute minus 2 plus 3i and for z2 i'm substituting minus 3 minus 2i um, <clears throat> in order to operate with uh, this division i need to remove the imaginary part from the denominator so i'm going to multiply above and below the line by complex conjugate of the denominator so that's um, going to be minus 3 plus 2i divided by minus 3 plus 2i and now I can start multiplying so writing it all on one line minus 2 plus 3i um, minus 3 plus 2i below the line minus 3 minus 2i and minus 3 plus 2i will give me a resulting above the line minus 2 by minus 3 is plus 6 um, uh, minus 2 by plus 2 is minus 4i, plus 3 by minus 3 is minus 9i, and last but not least, plus 3 by plus 2 is plus 6i squared. And below the line, I'm using the difference of the squares formula to write this being um, 9 minus 4i squared. So let's simplify above the line. 6 minus 4 minus 9 uh, is uh, 6 minus 13i and minus 6. And below the line, um, 9 
minus 4 I'm going to uh, sorry uh, 9 minus 4 I'm going to rewrite it as 9 plus 4 because again remember that i squared equals to minus 1 so let's tidy it up again to get um, 6 minus 6 is 0 minus 13 i all that divided by 13 i all that divided by 13 gives me the final result of 0 minus i and that's the answer to this question and it's um, a good place to stop